Heavenly Father, we, your children, the ones that you love, have gathered to worship you. The ones, oh God, that you sent Jesus to die for. We have gathered to say thank you. We are giving you praise. The ancient of days, the mighty one of Israel. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you this morning for the gift of life, eternal life. We thank you this morning for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you this morning that you woke us up this morning, Lord, by your grace, by your power, by your might. You have preserved us until this very hour. And so our hearts are full of thanksgiving. Enter your gates with thanksgiving uh, and into your courts with praise. Uh, we are grateful, O oh God, uh, for if it had not been for you, Lord, on our side, uh, when men rose up against us, uh, they would have swallowed us up quicker. We are grateful, O oh Lord, uh, if it had not been for you, Lord, on our side, uh, when the enemy came against us like a flood, uh, we would have been swept away. Uh, but bless the Lord who has raised a standard uh, against the enemy and enabled us to be alive for such a time as this. Uh, Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Uh, be exalted in the congregation of your children. Be exalted the mighty God. Be exalted the one who is great and greatly to be praised. Be exalted ancient of days. We love you Lord. We adore you Lord. We lay our lives before your throne. We thank you and bless you this morning for you've done it again oh God. We are not ignorant of the enemy's devices. We are not ignorant of the enemy's works. We are grateful this morning that Lord your presence is with us. Your presence has prevailed over the works of the evil ones. And so we thank you this morning. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you adoration. We thank and bless you. Glorious God, the mighty God. The, the, the faithful one. The one who is faithful and just. Oh, we thank you. We bless you. Be glorified. Be glorified this morning. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You have done it again. You have done it again, King of glory. You have done it again, the Lord of hosts. You have done it again, the great and mighty one. You have done it again, the mighty warrior who is great in battle. You have done it again, El Shaddai. You have done it again, the one who is double-breasted and more than enough to meet our needs. You have done it again, El Elyon, the possessor of the heavens and the earth. You have done it again this morning. Yahweh Saboeth, the commander in chief of the angelic armies. You have done it again. You have won us the victory. You have brought us safely to this day. And so to you, Lord, be the glory. We thank you. We bless you. We adore you. We reverence your name. For we know, Lord Jehovah God, that you have won many battles for us. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Good morning, good morning, everyone. We want to look at Ephesians chapter 2, even as we are thanking the Lord this morning. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, from verse 1, I'm reading the Amplified Ephesians 2 verse 1. It says, And you he made alive when you were spiritually dead and separated from him because of your transgressions and sins. God made us alive. Once upon a time, we were spiritually dead, but now we are not like that. We are alive. I want us to thank him this morning and say, Father, I thank you. You have made me alive. You have raised me up. You have quickened me. Once I was dead in my trespasses and sins, but I'm not there anymore. I am alive in Christ Jesus. I have eternal life by his mercy. I thank you, Father. I honor you and I give you thanks in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Ephesians 2 verse 4. Bible says, But God, being so very rich in mercy, because of his great and wonderful love with which he loved us, even when we were spiritually dead and separated from him because of our sins, he made us spiritually alive together with Christ. For by his grace, his undeserved favor and mercy, you have been saved from God's judgment and he raised us up together with Christ when we believed and seated us with Christ in the heavenly places because we are in Christ Jesus. I want us to thank him this morning and say, Father, I thank you because you are so very rich in mercy. 
because of the great and wonderful love with which you loved me. Thank you, Lord, that you have raised me up. You have made me alive together with Christ Jesus by your grace, by your undeserved favor, by your mercy. I have been saved from judgment. I've been raised up together with Christ Jesus because I believe in him. I believe in the son of God who died in my place. I've been raised up with Christ Jesus and I've been made to sit together with him in heavenly places. Thank you this morning uh, that as I pray uh, I am not praying from the earth realm uh, but I'm praying uh, from the heavenly places uh, where I am seated uh, in Christ Jesus uh, thank you this morning Lord uh, as the church of Jesus uh, we have been raised up uh, thank you this morning uh, we are in heavenly places uh, in Christ Jesus uh, so that uh, in the ages to come uh, you might show the exceeding riches of your grace and your kindness towards us uh, in Christ Jesus uh, thank you in Christ Jesus uh, I'm a recipient of grace. In Christ Jesus, I'm a recipient of mercy. In Christ Jesus, I'm a recipient of his goodness. In Christ Jesus, I'm a recipient of glory. In Christ Jesus, I am victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. We are victorious this morning because Christ is in us, the hope of glory. Christ is in us, the hope of glory. We are victorious this morning. I want you to begin to declare and say, by the blood of Jesus, I prevail. By the blood of Jesus, I prevail over everything that has been launched against us. By the blood of Jesus, I prevail this morning over every demon, over every principality, over every power, every ruler of darkness, every spiritual wickedness in high places. By the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. I prevail this morning. I declare in my neighborhood, in my community, in my city, in my nation, I prevail by the blood of Jesus. Whatever comes our way this morning, we prevail by the blood. We declare it this morning. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We sprinkle the blood all around us. Blood of Jesus on our children. On our children's children. Blood of Jesus on our spouses. Blood of Jesus on our homes. On our extended family. Blood of Jesus on our bloodlines from our father's side, our mother's side. We come by the blood this morning and we prevail. Let's begin to speak the blood. Let the testimony of the blood be heard all around us. For Christ has redeemed us. The Bible says we have been raised up by the blood of Jesus. We are delivered by the blood of Jesus. It is well with us. Begin to confess it and say by the blood, I am free. Whatever it is that is not of God, by the blood of Jesus, I am free this morning. By the blood of Jesus, I speak the blood. I speak the blood. Let the blood testify let the blood testify this morning. Elebo shalaba handa. Oria baba baseke teleba ragadosia. Ragadoso frege de lebosia. By the blood, we prevail over anything that is not of God. Whatever Satan might bring our way, we prevail by the blood. Radoso frege de deba rugadoso bradada. Robradoso frege de deba. Lika sanda. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Masentele basi kandala balaba. Roboso frege de lebosia. I prevail by the blood. We are victorious by the blood of the Lamb. Every covenant, every decree, every declaration that is not of God, we prevail over it by the blood of Jesus. The blood breaks anything that is against us. The blood of Jesus breaks the works of the devil. Yes, in the name of Jesus. See, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who died for us, who died in our place. We prevail. We prevail. Kurabashanda, regada da da bo zivra dos kabale handeleba. Oriama mama mama zikan toloboro bo shaya. Jam brodo so kondoro bo sheke teleba raba. Rogodo suvrande leba rabo. We prevail in the name of Jesus. Muru brado so fregede de bosia. Everything that is not of God, we prevail over it by the blood of Jesus. We activate the testimony of the blood of the Lamb, the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. We come by the intercession of the blood 
blood of Jesus. Uh, Hebrews 12, 24 says we've come to Jesus, uh, the mediator of the new covenant uh, and to the blood of sprinkler that has been sprinkled upon the mercy seat. Uh, the blood which speaks louder than the blood of Abel. Uh, we activate the testimony of the blood. Uh, let the blood speak uh, in every realm, uh, in every dimension, uh, in the heavenlies, uh, on the earth, uh, under the earth, uh, under the sea, under the oceans, uh, under the rivers. Uh, let the blood speak uh, in every dimension, uh, in the forest, uh, in the caves, uh, on the mountains, uh, wherever we activate uh, the testimony of the blood. Uh, let the blood speak. Uh, blood of Jesus. We raise the testimony of the blood of Jesus. Father, we draw a bloodline of the blood of Jesus around our households, around our families, and declare our lives. No go areas to satanic powers, to realms of wickedness and demonic agendas, demonic alliances. You cannot cross over the bloodline. Let the blood speak. Silence every evil altar. Silence every evil decree. Silence every evil pronouncement. By the blood, we prevail in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you we worship you we worship you we thank you hallelujah 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 Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen yesterday our sister shared the write up on the fire of the Holy Ghost Bible says in Timothy in 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 and 7 in the Passion Translation, I'm writing to you to encourage you to fan into a flame and rekindle the fire of the spiritual gift God imparted to you when I laid my hands upon you. For God will never give you the spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you might power, love, and self-control. We're going to invite Holy Spirit this hour and we're going to ask Spirit of the living God, uh, touch us again with your fire. Let the fire fall this morning. Uh, let the fire fall this morning. Uh, let the fire, Holy Spirit of the living God, uh, we invite the Spirit of truth. Uh, begin to invite him. Uh, flow, let the river flow, flow river, flow river of the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, move among us. Lord. Spirit of the living God, rekindle a fire in us. Ligado sofregedesia, fan into flames, O God. The fire of every spiritual gift that has ever been imparted to us by your presence, O God, by your spirit. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let it burn out anything that is not of God. Let the fire destroy the works of darkness. Let the fire, Lord, perfect us, purge us. Let the refiner's fire fall. Refine the sons of Levi. Uh, that refine the sons of the living God. Uh, let the fire regado sofre de sekelebosia. Fire of God. Me regado sofre de Flow living water flow. Rabusa vrada se bregede de balegado sia. Unanina zende lebrado sia. Touch every part of us, O oh God. Uh, soften the heart of stone. Uh, every heart uh, that has not been ready to receive uh, your power, your glory, your kingdom. Uh, soften the hearts of stone, O oh God. Uh, Miriam every heart that refuses to repent uh, in our lives uh, in our families uh, in our homes uh, let the fire soften the heart of stone uh, let the fire make our hearts tender to the promptings of the Holy Ghost may we become responsive uh, to your promptings uh, fire of the living God in the name of Jesus flow like a river flow flow like a river lord rekindle your fire in the name of jesus oh we just want to be full of your fire lord flow river flow flow like a river flow like a river flow like a river jesus flow holy spirit in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Spirit, the refiner, the refiner. We worship you this morning. Oh, we thank you. We worship you. In Malachi chapter 3, Malachi chapter 3, hallelujah to Jesus. 
Hallelujah to Jesus. He said in Malachi 3 from verse 1, Behold, I am going to send my messenger and he will prepare and clear the way before me. And the Lord, the Messiah whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. And the messenger of the covenant, capital letter M, messenger of the covenant, that's the Lord Holy Spirit. The messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, behold, he is coming. Behold, he is already here. He says, who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when the messenger of the covenant appears? For he is like a refiner's fire. And like the launderer's soap, which removes impurities and uncleanness, he will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi. He will purify the priesthood. He will purify the 6 a.m. prayer altar. He will refine them like gold and silver so that they may present to the Lord offerings in righteousness. Let's receive this morning the messenger of the covenant. We receive you, Jesus. We receive you, Messiah. And we receive the Holy Spirit you have sent to us. We receive the messenger of the covenant for we are under the new covenant, the new and better covenant sealed by the better blood of our Lord Jesus. We receive the messenger of the new covenant. We receive the Holy Spirit. We receive him this morning as he has come like a refiner's fire, like the launderer's soap who removes impurities and uncleanness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are refining us this morning. You are purifying us this morning. You are refining us like gold and silver so that we may present to the Lord uh, offerings and prayers in righteousness. Uh, we receive this morning uh, a touch from the Holy Ghost. Uh, touch every life, Holy Spirit. Uh, touch us, messenger of the covenant. Touch us this morning uh, with a new beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The people who have studied engineering, who have studied electrical engineering, who have studied all kinds of engineering, they would tell us that gold is able to conduct electricity better than silver, isn't it? Purified silver is able to conduct better than any metal that is not purified. The higher the purification of gold, the higher the dimension of the conduction of the electricity. In other words, the more purified we are, the better the power of God will flow through us. The higher the consecration, the higher the flow of the Holy Ghost fire, the higher the flow of the current of the Holy Ghost. As the more fire we have, the more purification, the more purification we have, the greater the dimension of the power of God that is made manifest in our lives. So this morning, Father, thank you for an upgrade by the Holy Spirit. Thank you for an upgrade as we are refined and purified this morning. We are upgraded in the dimension at which we can generate your fire, in the dimension at which we can generate your power as we are upgraded in holiness. We are upgraded in the power of the Most High God. The power can flow. The power can flow. Nothing resists the power. Lika Sanda. When we are purified like gold, nothing resists the glory, the glory, the powerful glory, the power of God. For God has power. Our God has power. Our God has power. He has glory here that is flowing and we receive it this morning. We will no longer resist the current of the Holy Ghost. We will not resist the current of the power, the current of the dunamis. We receive the currency this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus mighty name. We pray. Amen. When we go to Matthew chapter nine, we see an example of what happens when a human being is open to the currency and the fire of the Holy ghost. We look at the life of the Lord Jesus. He was fully human. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter nine, that. There were some men who brought a man who was paralyzed. This man was paralyzed. They brought him to Jesus. And when the Lord, the Bible says in verse two, they brought him a man who was paralyzed, lying on a stretcher. And then it says, seeing their active faith. I'm reading amplified. Jesus seeing their active faith. 
their faith springing from confidence in him. Jesus, first of all, saw their active faith. That's what the Bible says. Seeing their active faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, do not be afraid, son. Your sins are forgiven. The penalty is paid. The guilt is removed and you are declared to be in right standing with God. Immediately, Jesus said this. The man was healed because the only thing holding us is penalty, is accusation, is Satan. But when the penalty is paid, the guilt is removed and you are declared in right standing with God. Nothing is holding you back. And then the Bible says the scribes began to murmur and say, why is he doing this? Yeah, he's blaspheming. And the Lord said in verse five, for which is easier to say your sins are forgiven and the penalty paid or to say, get up and walk. And he said, both are possible for God. Both are possible for God. He says, but so that you may know that the son of man has authority and the power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, get up, pick up your stretcher and go home. And he got up and he went home healed and forgiven. This is what happens when a man is submitted to God. When a man is not resisting the Holy Spirit, Jesus was a man. He was fully human here, but he was willing to allow consecration and the spirit of God to flow within him and that's why the paralytic stood up this morning. We can be like our master. We can walk in the footsteps of our master because he says greater works than these shall you do because I go back to my father. The greater the consecration, the greater the dimension of power. This morning, are you going to speak with faith? The Lord said in Matthew 9 two that he saw their active faith. Can Jesus see your faith this morning? And are you willing to walk in the authority and the power that the Lord has released? Because Begin to speak this morning uh, and say, wherever I'm being limited, uh, wherever in the realm of the spirit I'm being paralyzed, uh, I get up and I walk uh, because Jesus said, uh, do not be afraid. Uh, your sins are forgiven. Uh, the penalty is paid. Uh, yes, uh, the guilt is removed. Uh, I have been declared in right standing with God. Uh, therefore, I arise and walk. Uh, any kind of spiritual paralysis, uh, we rise up and we walk away from it. Uh, any kind of physical paralysis, uh, we walk away from it. Uh, anything that is a limiting factor. You rise up and you walk up by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. In the power of the Holy Ghost we rise up and walk up in the name of Jesus. Maziga Dulabaya on this last day of February 2023 I rise up into the destiny God ordained for me. I walk in the high places. I ride upon my high places. I go on greater heights. I go on new dimensions. Every blessing that God ordained for me in February I possess my possession and I walk into the fullness of it because I have active faith. I have active faith. Now faith is active. Is active. Faith accomplishes things. It's not just something that people speak and nothing happens. Faith is active. Faith is active. The active faith that rose the paralyzed man, it raises me up from every situation, every low ground. I rise up in faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever, wherever you've been lying down, child of God, the Bible said in Isaiah 60, arise, shine, arise from the prostration and the depression that circumstances had put you in. It says, arise to a new life, rise and shine. Every form of paralysis, we arise and we shine. The power of God is upon us. We arise and we shine. Yes, the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. We arise, we arise and shine. I arise from spiritual depression. I arise to a new life. I arise from financial depression. I arise to a new life. I arise from every form of emotional depression. I rise to a new life. I arise from every bondage, every limitation, any yoke, any limiting factor. I arise to a new life by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am radiant with the glory of the Lord and the brilliance and the glory of the Lord has come upon me. According to Isaiah 60 verse 1, begin to declare a child of God that paralyzed man in Matthew 9 he arose and shined he began to carry the bed 
The thing that was his limiter before, that was carrying him, he began to carry it. That means power had changed hands. There was a role reversal. The thing that was a problem, he became master over it. The thing that was the limiter, he became master over it. This morning, we arise and we shine. We become the master of the limiting factor. We walk in glory. Arise and shine. Take up that bed and walk with it. Whatever was the limiter, we pick it up and we walk with it. We oppress the oppressor. We are victorious over those uh, that had tried to steal from us. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, whatever was the limiting factor, we are shining. Uh, we are radiant with the glory of the Lord. Uh, the glory and the brilliance of the Lord has risen upon us. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I arise. Uh, that thing, uh, that very thing, uh, what, that was the source of the problem. Uh, I carry it away uh, in power. In the name of Jesus, uh, just like Samson uh, carried the gate of that Philistine town uh, that they thought they'd barricaded him in. Uh, he lifted up the spirit of the living God uh, and he removed the gates and carried them. Uh, every demonic gate uh, that has been trying to hinder you, trying to hinder you, child of God, uh, trying to stop me, trying to stop you, uh, we lift up that evil gate. Uh, we carry it off uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, satanic gates cannot stop us. Uh, demonic gates cannot stop us. Uh, for Jesus said, uh, I will build my church uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. My uh, is in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You said the son of man has authority and power on earth. Lord, let your power flow. You have authority. You have power. You said in Matthew 28, 18, all authority, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto you, Jesus, and you've delegated it to us. And so this day we step out in the authority the Lord has given us. We go therefore in the authority that Jesus has given us. Yes. We we go therefore according to what you said in Matthew 28 18 we step out in the authority all power all authority is given to you in heaven and earth and you have sent us your children to go therefore in that power and authority we step out in it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you oh we worship you in Jesus mighty name we pray you are faithful oh God you are faithful and you are worthy. We glorify your name. You have done it again, again and again. You have done it in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus mighty name. We pray. Amen. Brethren, I was in a dream early hours of, of, the, of the morning and the Lord showed me something wonderful. I believe today, even on this last day of February 2023 is a great day of deliverance in that dream. In that dream, the Lord put a screen in front of me, you know, like a big uh, flat screen television. And the Lord began to show me some different people, you know, in different evil altars doing evil things. And the Lord began to give prayer points and I could see them on that screen. As, as, as we were praying, we could see them being destroyed by the fire. The fire would just burn and then everything would just turn to ashes. The fire would just burn and then it would be turned to ashes. So I want to share those prayer points with us this morning. And I know that our God is faithful. First of all, we'll start with first John 3, 8. First John 3, 8. First John 3, 8, the Bible says in part B of first John 3, 8, it says for the devil has sinned and violated God's law from the beginning. The son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. Now, when we look at that English word destroy, it gives us a different picture from what really the Greek word means. So the Greek word they are trying to translate there and are calling it destroy. It really means to untie, to untie, to loose, untie, loose. You know, Satan has come to tie something evil. They have tied something. They've tied a curse. And Jesus came to untie, to loose. Because some people will say, well, how are the works of the devil destroyed yet? We still see him working. Listen, Jesus came to untie them. Every time Satan ties something, Jesus, in the power of Jesus, we are able to untie it and loose it. So this morning, I want you to take up 
this prayer and say, Lord, anything in my life, in my family, from my father's side, my mother's side, my spouse's father's side, their mother's side, every bloodline that I'm connected to, going all the way back to Adam and Eve, Father, any works of the devil where Satan has been tying things up, tying destinies, holding people, tying their feet so that they cannot move forward, tying their hands so that they can always fail and never accomplish anything, tying their finances, tying their health. We are undoing it this morning in the name of Jesus, because for this reason, the son of God was made manifest that he will untie the works of the devil. Wherever there is a shrine that is tying any aspect of your life up this morning, we untie it uh, by the word of God. Uh, as you untie it, I promise you, in that altar, wherever they are, fire of God uh, is destroying what they tied. Uh, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, for this reason, uh, the Son of God uh, was made manifest. Uh, he appeared uh, for the purpose uh, of untying, uh, of un uh, untying tying and loosing uh, the works of the devil, wherever devil had tied uh, in our lives, uh, in our spouses' lives, uh, in our children, in our children's children, in our bloodlines, uh, from our father's side, uh, our mother's side, uh, our spouse's father's side, their mother's side, wherever there has been a tying of destiny, a tying of blessings, uh, a tying of feet, uh, a tying of hands, uh, a tying uh, and, and, and blindfolding of the eyes. Uh, Father, this morning uh, we speak a release, uh, we untie we untie in the name of Jesus. We untie whatever has been tied up. We loose it. We loose it. Ragados of Rega de Lebasia. Mazogo do do brega de Leba. We loose. We loose it in the name of Jesus. Maseke Telebaraba. Loose your holder. Loose your holder. Satan. Loose your holder. Loose your holder. Meregado Socorabashaya. Mazoko do Robosia. Ragada da 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 that is good. Uh, that have been tied up uh, by the enemy and his agents. Maseke uh, Telebasia. They have been sinning from the beginning. Uh, this is their assignment. Uh, from the beginning, uh, they've been sinning, rebelling against God, uh, tying up what God is saying. He should be free. Uh, this morning, uh, we untie the works of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. I want us to go to Matthew 18 and 19. But before I read this scripture, I want to give you this short testimony. Once upon a time, it's not a fairy tale, it's a true story. There was a man who had been diagnosed with a terminal illness. Doctors done everything, nothing can be done, he's about to die. He has become bedridden. And this man was a full gospel minister, full gospel minister. He had gone around the whole country preaching all around. And then he gets sick and he's bedridden, he's about to die. Now, this man, because he was a full gospel minister, many people knew him. He, he, he was known by thousands and thousands of people. And yet every time before he became bedridden, every time he goes to church, he asks the brethren, please pray for me. Pray for my healing. Pray for my deli deliverance. Do you know what? Thousands of people will say they've prayed. And from time to time, we'll send messages and say, remember me. And they say, yes, we remember you. Even in, in church services, sometimes thousands of people would lift up their voices and say they're praying. But you know what? Nothing happened. But the Bible says, again, if I say to you, if two of you agree on earth, two of you, but the Bible says in the Amplified, if two of you are of one mind in harmony, if you are in harmony, you are in agreement. He says about anything that you ask, of course, within the will of God, healing is within the will of God. Deliverance is within the will of God. If two, never mind here, we are more than two. Even if we multiply ourselves times three times four, we are more than that number. He says, two of you agree concerning anything they ask, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. Now, this man had gone to thousands of churches. People were saying they are praying, but do you know what? They weren't really in agreement. Some of them in their heart will have been talking another thing. They will have looked at him so thin and said, ah, hmm, we know such a body who had the same thing and they died. Hmm, we've seen it before. Eh, they said they prayed for so and so and they died. If when we are praying, we are not in agreement, it stops the power of God. 
But if you make up your mind that I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. for nothing, I just don't want noise in my house. Let that you make up your mind. Don't let patients be screaming and yelling in my house for nothing. If I join this prayer line, let me be in harmony and in agreement. If only two people would do that, we cannot contain the number of miracles on this 28th day of February, 2023. This man, one day, he was there on the bed about to die. He finally made up his mind. He says, oh God, if only you can give me the strength to get up and walk. Let me walk to that tree over there in the garden, there in the yard, in the farmyard. Let me go to that tree. He says two things are going to happen. When I get to that tree, I'm going to praise you and pray until two things happen. Either I die or I am healed. Two things must happen. I must not come back to this bed unless I am healed or I've died. And you know what? He went there. And do you know what? The end result was God healed him instantly, miraculously. Why? Because he had engaged his faith. And if you don't find a human being to agree with you, agree with the Holy Ghost, agree with the word. That man went under the tree. He agreed with the word of God. He agreed with the Holy Ghost. And guess what? God healed him. What prayers of thousands of people could not do when he made up his mind to be in agreement with the word and with Jesus, it came to pass. I am telling us this so that when we read scripture, you don't be like, oh yes, I know Matthew 18, 18, I can quote it and you go shandarararara, but you're not in agreement and nothing happens. Matthew 18, 18, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whatever you bind, whatever you forbid, whatever you declare to be improper, illegal and unlawful on earth shall have already been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose, permit, declare lawful, declare good on earth shall have already been loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two believers on earth agree, that is of one mind in harmony about anything that they ask within the will of God, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. Whatever we bind on earth is already bound in heaven because God doesn't want evil. So as you are binding, the sickness is already bound in heaven. So your answer automatically comes. Whatever you bind. In other words, good prayers do not start with us. God has already done it in heaven. He is waiting for me and you. Sometimes believers say, I'm waiting upon the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is waiting upon you. Because God has already done his side. He says what we bind on earth is already bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is already loosed in heaven. Now go ahead. Begin to bind the works of the devil. Whatever is improper. You know, poverty, sickness, disease, failure is improper in the life of a child of God. Because Jesus said in John 10, 10 part B. I have come that they might have life and life in abundance. Whatever is going on in your life now that doesn't glorify God is improper. Begin to declare it improper in the name of Jesus. Father God, uh, we bind this morning, uh, we forbid, uh, we declare to be improper and unlawful. Any shenanigans of the devil and his agents, uh, whatever is emanating from the powers of darkness, uh, we declare it improper and unlawful uh, on earth uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we know it's already bound and unlawful in heaven. Uh, Lord, sickness, uh, premature death, uh, cancer, diabetes, uh, heart failure, kidney failure, all these things, uh, they are bound and unlawful in the lives of the believers. Uh, and we know uh, it's already unlawful in heaven. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, poverty. Cycles of failure. Cycles of failure. In the name of Jesus. Uh, living from hand to mouth. Uh, we declare it improper. Unlawful. Uh, we bind every form of lack. Uh, we bind every demonic spirit. Uh, that eats the provision of God's children. Uh, any Midianite curse. Uh, we break by the blood of Jesus. Uh, we declare it improper. That the harvest of God's children should be destroyed. Uh, by the agents of the devil. We declare it improper. We say it's improper proper. It's unlawful. It cannot continue in the mighty name of Jesus because it's unlawful. It's improper. The angels of God are released to arrest any power that is trying to enforce wicked things in our lives. Angels of God are loosed to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west to arrest anyone trying to do illegal things in the lives of God's children. Anyone doing improper things. Anyone doing what's not proper. Releasing spells and curses and hexes and 
sexes, uh, incantations, uh, and evil fetish acts and rituals. Uh, it is improper. We bind it uh, and we loose the angel armies uh, to arrest them uh, in the name of Jesus and take them to where the true Lord Jesus wants them to be kept uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father Lord, uh, this morning uh, we loose, uh, we permit, uh, we declare lawful uh, healing, deliverance, transformation, divine provision, uh, wealth, uh, multiplication, uh, increase, uh, just like you bless Jabez. Uh, Lord, uh, we are blessed indeed. Uh, you have enlarged our coast. Uh, you have enlarged our territory. In the name of Jesus, uh, any limitation is far from us uh, by the power in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are loosed, uh, loosed, uh, loosed uh, to fulfill the glory of God to fulfill the goodness of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father I come in agreement with any child of God on this prayer altar that is willing to agree with me this morning that enough is enough in the name of Jesus anything that is not of God we declare it improper illegal unwanted and unwelcome in our lives we put an end to it on this last day of February 2023 we declare an ending to the works of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. They are untied. They are loosed and we are free in the name of Jesus. We agree for healing. We agree for deliverance. We agree for transformation. We agree for miracles, signs and wonders. We agree for breakthroughs. We agree for good news. Good news. Be released into the bosom of the hands of God's children. In the name of Jesus, I come in agreement with anyone who is ready to see the hand of the Lord, who is ready to see a new thing uh, who is ready to see a new beginning uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Malika Sutelelelebo Lika Nunanemo Setendeleba Mazom Brada Dada Basekeleba Rubraduska Balehande in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you we bless your name we give you glory finally I want us to go to Galatians 3 13 you know as I was being shown in that dream I was describing to you you know we wanna we wanna declare Galatians 3 13 and 14 the Bible says Christ has purchased our freedom and redeemed us from the curse of the law and its condemnation by becoming a curse for us. Christ has released us from the condemnation and the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree in order that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might also come to the Gentiles so that we would all receive the realization and the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. I want you to begin to declare this morning and say, I am redeemed from the curse by the blood of Jesus. I am the seed of Abraham. So I inherit the blessing of Abraham. I inherit the promise of the spirit. Every good thing God promised me, I receive it. I am redeemed from the curse. Anything that looks like a curse in my life, it is broken because I'm redeemed from it. Remember, a curse is an invisible hand that limits you because word curses have been released or rituals have been done or incantations or whatever. Begin to release yourself and say, I'm redeemed from the curse of of the law. I am redeemed from every curse by the blood of Jesus. I am the seed of Abraham. This day I choose life instead of death. I choose blessing instead of cursing. I choose to be lifted. I refuse to be in bondage. In the name of Jesus, I lose myself, my family, my bloodlines. I lose us from all curses. Any curse, wherever that curse is emanating from, whether it's coming from the heavenly realms, from the earth realm, under the earth, whatever dimension, under the water, in the marine kingdom under the sea wherever it's coming from I lose myself uh, from all curses uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I break the power of curses uh, by the blood of Jesus uh, I rebuke the curse uh, I release my family from all curses uh, every curse of witchcraft uh, we lose ourselves we rebuke and release ourselves from the curse of witchcraft uh, curses of sorcery curses of divination uh, we break them uh, and we lose our families from them uh, in the name of Jesus uh, curses of pride and rebellion. We break them and lose our families from them. Curses of death and destruction. We break and lose ourselves from them. In the name of Jesus. Curses of sickness, infirmity, wasting and weakness. We break them and lose ourselves from them by the blood of Jesus. Every curse of lack of death. 
of overdrafts, of credit card debt, of poverty. We break them and loose ourselves from them by the blood of Jesus. Every curse of rejection and broken relationships, we break and we loose ourselves from them by the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, any curse of double-mindedness that causes people not to receive because they always waver. Lord, we break that curse in the name of Jesus. We refuse to be double-minded. We refuse any spiritual schizophrenia in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse, Lord God Almighty, of perversion, of lust upon our young people, anyone speaking over them, that they will be helpless to, re- to resist lust. We break that curse. None of our children will live in sin. None of them will walk in cycles of perversion and sin. Lord, sexual sin is not their portion. We break the curses of lust and the curses of sexual perversion. We break every slavery to sex and any kind of perversion in the name of Jesus. We break every curse of confusion, depression, mental illness. We break them, Lord, by the blood of Jesus. Lord, any curse, whatever it is uh, that causes people to be unsettled, uh, to wander around like vagabonds uh, and not amount to anything, uh, we break those curses, uh, the curse of the wanderer, the curse of the vagabond, uh, you are broken. Uh, Father, whoever has spoken negative words uh, against any of us, uh, any word curses, uh, Father, we cancel by the blood of Jesus. Uh, we break them. Uh, we are redeemed. Uh, we have the blessing of Abraham. Uh, any people in positions of authority that have released curses and evil words over us. We break those evil words and we release ourselves from them by the blood of Jesus. Even Father, we pray any self-inflicted curses, any negative words that we ourselves have spoken over our own selves and we've spoken over our children, over our families, over our spouses, over anyone connected to us. Lord, we recant those words. We repent of them and we cancel, Lord, every self-inflicted curse by the blood of Jesus. And Lord, this morning uh, I command every demon uh, that is hiding and operating behind the curses uh, to come out in the name of Jesus. Uh, I command them to be bound uh, with the chains of Holy Ghost fire and sent to where the true Lord Jesus Christ sends them in the name of Jesus. uh, Any demon uh, attempting to hide uh, behind any curse uh, functioning and doing evil we arrest you in the name of Jesus. Demons hiding in people's health, hiding in their emotions, hiding in their minds, hiding in their bodies, hiding in any area of our lives. We locate you by the finger of God. We command you to manifest and go in the name of Jesus. We declare blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus over every one of us, blood of Jesus over our families. The blessing of Abraham is ours. We receive the promise. Let the promise be manifested in our lives this morning. Let the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith Come to pass uh, in each and every one of our lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' name, uh, I want you as we round up, begin to declare Galatians six seventeen uh, and say from henceforth, uh, from now going forward, uh, let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let no demon, no man, no human, no hybrid, uh, no entity, let none of them trouble me for I bear on my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I am blessed and highly favored. Uh, I am on top and still rising, uh, going higher and higher every day, uh, because the path of the just is like a shining light, uh, shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Uh, I am being transfigured right now, uh, according to 2 Corinthians 3, 18, uh, but we all with open face, uh, beholding as in a glass, uh, the glory of the Lord Jesus, uh, we are being transformed, uh, we are being transfigured uh, from glory to glory, as by the Spirit of the Lord, uh, I am going to a new level of glory, by the Spirit of the Lord, uh, I am lifted, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my family is lifted. Uh, we are going to a new dimension of glory. My bloodlines are lifted. Uh, new dimensions of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we are unstoppable. The enemy cannot stop us. Uh, the enemy cannot hold us down. Uh, we are riding on to higher heights. Uh, as this month ends, uh, we are ending on a high note. Uh, we are ending on higher ground. Uh, we are ending on higher ground. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are not ending in a low place. Uh, you are ending in victory. You are ending in glory. For we are more than conquerors. 
through Christ Jesus, uh, who loved us enough to die for us. Uh, we are the blessed of the Lord. Uh, we are not cursed. Uh, nobody can curse us. Uh, nobody can limit us. Uh, we are blessed uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the Lord God has spoken over us. Uh, he say, I say you are gods. Uh, we are the children of the living God. Uh, and we live and reign on planet earth. Uh, we are kings and priests unto our God. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.